doesn't take a lot of money to smell as alluring as a barbecue on a hot summer's day. So stop using Axe. Smelling fresh and clean is actually really important. It's one of the first things people notice about you. In fact, they probably notice your aroma before they notice anything else about you. That's how important it is. Hi, I'm Dylan, your personal stylist and your guide to wizardry. The first cologne I'll show you, which is one of my favorites that I wear almost every day, is Refined by 1956. So I got this at Marshalls for $14.99, and the description says, an aromatic blend of bergamot with smooth lavender, cedarwood, and smoked amber. And I'll give it a little smell test. It smells very musky, but it's a sweet musky. It smells very Calvin Klein-esque. Clean, manly, masculine, but a little bit of sweetness to it. I love this cologne because it's cheap. This is actually my second bottle I've went through. When I first bought it, I got a compliment from somebody random. When I was working as a cashier, he asked me where I got this cologne at, and I didn't even know because I had just purchased it and then not really thought about it. And I couldn't even tell him, so I'm here to tell you that it's one of my favorites. And if you don't know, this is how I usually apply any kind of scent, cologne, perfume, anything. You want to spray it on your arm, kind of rub it into both. You kind of want to Mist it around your neck, on your wrist a little bit, but not too much because too much is too overpowering and it will completely gas up anybody else around you. That was Refined by 1956 and I found it at Marshall's. The next cologne on this list is Black by 1956. And the description says, fresh scent of mandarin and Thai basil with warm undertones of cedarwood vetiver. I'm not sure what that is, but I'll just say it like that, vetiver. To me, I can obviously smell the citrus, but it's not like too zingy. It has a little bit of this warm vanilla undertone that I really love about it. It's a very smooth scent. A lot of citrus smelling stuff is like boom, but this one's a very mellow, citrusy vanilla. You know what I mean? Like think of a chai tea, how soft that is. That's how this smells, if that makes any sense. Oh, and before I forget, I got this for $14.99 at TJ Maxx. Items like this are just always way cheaper at discount stores than, you know, Ulta or anywhere else. So the third cologne on this list is called Bourbon Pure Bold. It says orange zest, bourbon, and aged oak. And it was $12.99 at TJ Maxx. Let's do a little smell test. This cologne is probably the most masculine and darkest smelling cologne I have. Obviously, I don't wear it too often, but I like it because it smells, in my best words, I'll put it like it smells very dark but also has a slight, slight sweetness to it, but it's one of the darkest clones I have. A little bit musky. I smell more bourbon and aged oak. I don't really smell too much orange zest. It's very light. It is in there, but this is definitely a more muskier, not sweet smell, but it's very nice still. This one is one of my favorites. I've used the whole bottle and I cannot find another one and I'm not going to pay full price, but it is Versace Blue Jeans. I don't have the actual case it came in, but I got it from TJ Maxx for about, I think it was 15 dollars. I think it's real. I don't know. It's Versace, so it's probably not real, but this cologne smells amazing. It's probably one of the more sweeter scents I have, but it still has a little muskiness to it. It's not just blatantly sweet. It has a little bit of this masculine hint to it, and it's not too strong. It's not too light. I, again, I've used the whole bottle, and I had to save it because I love this cologne. I can't find it anywhere right now. My friend and I love this cologne. I put him onto it. He loves it, so don't take it from me. Just go try it yourself. My last scent that I have on this list is more feminine. It is a perfume, and it's called Clinique My Happy. It comes in a cute little bottle. It says Indigo Mist on the bottom. It's a very very flowery and fruity zesty smell. Let me go online real quick and see what they wanted the smell to smell like so I can read you the description, the official description. I'm at Ulta.com and Clinique My Happy Indigo Mist Perfume is actually $28. It's not that bad but it's twice the amount of these other colognes that I recommend over this one. But this one still has this place, you know, the summary or description of this perfume says Clinique My Happy Indigo Mist Perfume Spray is a refreshing scent with bluebells, wet green notes, of melon and violet leaf, cashmeron, and orris root. Don't know what those are, but they smell pretty good. It also says that it's a fresh fragrance. I will give it that it is fresh, more a feminine smell, but that's okay with me. 
So that was just a quick list of some of my favorite colognes slash scents that I use every day. These are all great scents. I don't like painful price, you know me, so these are definitely some steals you should find. Go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls or anywhere that has prices similar to those and you'll find these colognes or scents. That was my list of my favorite colognes and scents that won't break the bank. Like I said, smelling good does not take much and you can find packs and steals and cheap stuff anywhere that can smell just as good as Versace or Dior. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch my video and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.